Right. But we were told that credit card is bad. You should only buy gas and groceries with credit card. I got friends, you got friends that's buying rental properties off of credit cards. So mm -hmm. at what point, we don't hear white people saying credit is bad, apart from idiot Dave Ramsey and Susie Orton. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we don't hear them like agents of misinformation. Like, why you want to live below your means? Why, why would anyone want to live below your means? You know what that means? Being, being like, you know your potential and you're walking with your head down in, in, in the sand. Like, how does that make sense? I am a king. What king bows before anybody else? Right. We are kings and queens. We we're missing the education. We're missing the education. So so now let me ask you a question, bro. Like, um, say for example, a person hears this this you know this kind of conversation, and mm -hmm. then we get to a point where they decide they want to start a business. What would be like the steps from like zero to a hundred? hundred thousand dollars to a million dollars like what will be those steps like what well, the first what's some thing of the things is, they need it's not for everybody so if you're not about this life don't do it yeah not ever like many are called but few are chosen it's facts this is not for the faint of heart but if you decide that this is the route you want to go and you commit through hell or high water through thick or thin even if you're swallowed up by debt if this is the route you want to go, then I say to you, commit, young man. Commit, young woman. Commit whoever it is that wants to commit. Burn the bridges. Yeah. And focus and give this all your energy. Because if I didn't do that, the person right here would not be here right now. I would have went back to go on orders, being active duty in the military. I, could, I got many offers to get back on orders. No. I, dude, I believe in me so much. I'd rather go broke before I go back to a job. Mm. That is facts. And it's not going to happen. It's not. Because as a man think it in his heart, so is he. Mm -hmm. I will never go broke, ever. And if I do, it's only a matter of time before I get it back. Because I went through the process. I did not take a microwave fix. So I know how to rebuild from ground zero. That's the difference. Well, wow. now that, that you, you just kind of you kind of really broke down a lot, like even um, about the miseducation in our community. You know, other races they coming into our community. They knowing that we're the consumers. Because now you think about the hood, it's Chinese stores. All right, got, we got sure. the payday loan guys, right? Yeah. yeah, we got the check cashing guys, right? All the fast food restaurants are there. Yeah. All of them motherfuckers are there. Yep. Right. All of them. Well, let's go over to Riverdale. Let's go into the white neighborhoods. No fast food restaurants. Yep. The most you're going to see is a deli. Right? No check cash in place. No payday loan. No buy here, pay here. They're not there. So why do you think all of these businesses are in our communities? We spend it. We spend it. We spend it. We spend it. And they know we've been misinformed. Most people don't know that check systems exist. Mm. Most people don't know that the reason why they can open a bank account is because there's information in check, system, um, in check systems on them and they don't know how to get their report, get these negative items deleted so they can open their bank account so they can stop paying these crooked payday loans and, and check cash in place. But they don't know this because they were told cash is king. Stay away from credit. Mm. But then you go there. Then you try to live like the Joneses. Now you're living right. hand to mouth. Shut now you're robbing up. Peter to pay Paul. Yeah. Mm. Think about it. Dude, I've only been here for 14 years. I'm telling you what I've observed. I wasn't born here. I, this, these are things I observed. I lived in the Bronx. I lived in Brooklyn. I lived in Mount Vernon. These are things that I observed living here. I lived in New Hampshire, where there was only five black people in the whole community. So if, if we did anything wrong, they know exactly where to find us. We couldn't hide. 
But let me tell you what I didn't see. I didn't see no payday loans up there when I was there. I didn't see no check cash in place. I didn't see no buy here, pay here. And we're fat. They, they have outlets and malls where the fast food restaurants are. They're not strung out throughout communities. It, it wasn't there. It's restaurants that's there where you're going in to get a hot meal. So, so I'm gonna switch gears a little bit. Like, what about Georgia? How's how's the culture different from there? Oh, from New York to God. New Hampshire, yo, Brooklyn, Bronx. Black Mecca. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, Black Atlanta is the spot. Mm. And the only one I've seen come close, in my in my opinion, and I'm no expert at traveling. So y'all travel bloggers or travel trolls, leave me alone. <laughs> right, Miami, bro. Miami. Oh, Miami. Mm. Atlanta, Miami. Those mm. are my cities. Those are your top two. Those, those are my two. Quick question. How were how are you able to meet Ben Man Kevo and, and <laughs> Sukiana and Suki? Is that Suki the goat? Suki. Suki. Yeah, Suki. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, let me let me let me give y'all so let me tell y'all something about Suki that a lot of y'all don't know. Yo, don't let what you see in TV have you draw a conclusion about Suki. She is the complete opposite in person. She's quiet. She don't speak unless you speak to her. Are you serious? She's manner, bro. I'm, te- I'm, te- I, this is somebody that I know. She's in my phone right now. Right? She is so mannerable. If you don't speak to her, she will not speak to you. She will just be there, quiet. What you see in TV, I don't know if it's the alter ego or the rap. I don't know, but I'm telling you, the Suki in person is a completely different person right. than the Suki that you see on TV. Oh, and if someone had told me, I wouldn't have believed it until I witnessed it myself. She's a complete. It's like there's two. It's two complete different persons. Bad man is bad man. Like, <laughs> yo, let me tell you something. He will never drop a catch. And what that means is he's always on point. Yeah. And he's taught me a lot too about security. Like, you will never catch Kevo slipping. Mm-hmm. And yo, dude is real. Like, let me give you an example. Like, he'll have a play coming up or a mastermind, and he's like, yo, Doreen, um, we're going to do bye this weekend. I got a mastermind. Let me know if you want to come. Like, he's that type of dude. So, like, people draw conclusions on people based on different things, but I can only give my own experience with a person. Yeah. Now, I can't say if he's this good person or a great person that never did anything, but I can tell you when I am there, like if I say, yo, Kevo, like, let me the keys to the car. Like, I hear you. like he's given it. Mm. That like he's that dude. I've never had a bad experience with Kevo. I've never had a bad experience with Suki. Like, I've met a lot of people. And like if I say, yo, bro, I'm coming to Miami, he's like, yo, where you want to meet up? Like, he's that dude, bro. Mm. So, yo, shout out to Kevin and Suki, bro. How do you go out, like, and meet people? Like, how do you meet those kind of caliber of people? Like, when you start changing your environment. Mm-hmm. You, if you, all right, think about um, growth, right? For anything to grow and grow prosperously, it must leave its environment. An example. Eagles, right? The mama eagle throws the baby eagles out of the nest, bro. Throws them out. You got to learn to fly. Because people want to be a big fish in a small pond versus going into a big pond and establishing themselves. So what I do is I make it a point of duty to know people that can get me into different circles. Dude, there's plays right now that's happening that even I don't have information to because I'm not in those circles. And that type of stuff worries me. It means I'm not influential enough. I need to be in the rooms Grant Cordon is in. I need to be in the room Robert Kiyosaki is in. Like, Kevo in December went to Dubai to meet billionaires, bro. I'm mad I didn't get to go, but I had to build my car wash. You're building a car wash business? Yeah, in Jamaica. An automatic drive through car wash. Oh, that Lit. is impressive. Wow. Yes, mm-hmm. This is what I'm talking about. So it's it's not anybody can make money. Yeah. But what people don't know is how to keep it, how to grow it, how to multiply it. My money needs <coughs> to get pregnant. Everybody that's watching, y'all need to create pregnant money because that money needs to give birth to more money. 
Oh, but I finally have $100,000. Great. Go spend it on an asset. Go spend it on something that can bring you more cash flow. Cash flow, baby. So definitely, like, we, 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 we jumped into a lot, but we, let's definitely, let's talk about your credit, uh, your credit repair software. We ah. got it in the back right here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Consumer Law Dispute at AI is my guy right here, for those of you <laughs> who can't see it. So this little guy right here yeah. changes the whole game. The whole entire game of credit. Let me tell y'all how. So right now, y'all know there's software on the market that's doing all sorts of stuff, claiming to be the great, best credit repair software out there. Nah. I got yeah. one as well, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. So now, let's talk about letter generating capabilities, right? So with Consumer Law Dispute.ai, let me tell you what. We've broken it down into five steps, five easy steps, right? First thing you need to do is import the report. You got to get it. So I'm integrated with my score IQ. We do we pull FICO 8, right? Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, um, my score IQ is a company of Identity IQ. Identity IQ got two models. They got Vantage, which is the Identity IQ side of it, and then there's the my score IQ side of it, which is FICO 8. So I use FICO 8 integrated into my software. Now, when you integrate into there, step one, step two now is you go to the dispute wizard, right? The dispute wizard analyzes everything that's there, categorizes it, and then boom, shows you what's there. Negative items, derogatories, public records, all the great stuff, right? Step three now is dispute. You, you pick what you want to dispute. So after you select what you want to dispute, inquiries, collections, old accounts, whatever, you, you pick them, right? Then now you have two options, right? So the option is one, you can go into the letter library because I have an extensive library, you, you know this, of consumer law letters that you can pick from. So you go in there, you pick what's going on, and let's say you say, you're like, oh, Doreen, you know what, let me go generate my own letter. You have the option now to go generate your own letter as well as you have the option to make your own letter. So you can generate a letter or you can make your letter or you can use a letter that's already there. Mm -hmm. Three options, right? So if you use the AI now to generate the letter for you, the AI gives you a letter. So let's say you don't like that letter. You can modify it, right? Or you could take the letter, go over to the AI now and say, hey, I don't like this letter. Give me a different letter, but I want you to keep 15 U.S.C. 1681-B2, 15 U.S.C. 1681-EB, 15 U.S.C. 1681-N, and restructure this letter accordingly, right? Boom! Gives you a whole nother letter, just like that. And that's the typing. Now, you can click the mic now on it and you can say hey guy well you don't have to say hey guy but you can say <laughs> hey um portfolio recovery did this to me and i have this letter that i want to use but i want it to be more stern so make me a letter using 15 usc 1692 a b or c like whatever you want to just pick what you want to put in there and also write me a complaint to the CFPB, the BBB, and the FTC for portfolio recovery. Boom. So you get the letter, three complaints. Like, dude, my software is like, bruh, bruh, bruh. Right? So then after you do that now, you generate your letters, right? Now you're able to go to send letters, which now we're at step five. So now you go to send letters. And when you go to send letters, um, from in the software, you can send um, registered mail, certified mail, or you could print it if you want to. But in five steps, I've made credit repair so easy, you don't have to leave your home to go outside for nothing. The next cool thing is you can file complaints. Uh, you can file complaints with the FTC, the BBB, and the CFPB, all from the software. Next, you can also freeze all the secondaries. Um, LexisNexis, Satream, ARS, Innovis, um, Check Systems, Pacer, Early Warnings, Clue, um, who else I have in there? I think I have like eight of them in there. Like you can freeze all of those from the software, right? And if that's not the best part, wait until these crooked debt collectors say, oh, hey, we bought your charge off. No, you can't. So what you can also do now is you can file um, tax fraud with the IRS, right? Cool. Tax stuff. fraud. Yeah. So a charge off means cancel debt, right? Right. So when they cancel the debt, let's talk about 15 U.S.C. Um, 1605, right? And we're at what? 1605. 
truth in lending, finance charge. All oh, right. Come on, Cody. I need to get you back up to speed. <laughs> Yo, I need to get you back up to speed, Cody. You're slipping. Right? So now we're at the finance charge. And when you know about the finance charge, the finance charge also has an insurance policy built into it, right? You know this. So it's built into it and it protects the creditor in the event that what? The obligor defaults, right? Mm -hmm. It protects the credit life. So we know that if the consumer defaulted, they got paid on insurance money, right? So then they said to the IRS, oh, this is a charge off. Guess what? They're not going to pay taxes on those monies. So they got a tax break. So if they got paid and they got a tax break and they sold the account to a debt collector, where is the consumer liable for that debt now? They're not. So now they're trying to collect on a debt that the consumer don't owe, and it's listed as a charge-off on the consumer's credit report. So now you file the complaint with the IRS for tax fraud, and you report them to the BBB, mm. all from the software, right? And if you're a victim of identity theft, you can also file your identity theft claim through the software, get your affidavit from identitytheft.gov, and, bro, I'm telling you, I've made credit repair so easy. All you need to do is put your robe on and go dispute the items. So, nah, that's that's dope. Like, five steps you could easily just fix your, that's it. Fix your credit. So, like, um, have you have you uh, used the software on anyone yet? Yeah. We have 980 users. I launched it three weeks ago. Wow. Amazing stuff. Mm. So so like <laughs> so so being that you know this, this software is like you know easy to use five steps can someone build like a credit repair business with this like you correct know, there's two sides to it. you're asking really great questions your auntie your uncle your grandma your sister your brother they're able to use it right it's user friendly for one dollar only one dollar they can start repairing rebuilding restoring their own credit right um just sign up for a dollar after fourteen days it's one forty seven so. They get to use it 14 days for $1. Now, after that, right, um, there's the business side to it. Now, the business side, there's different plans. There's the growth, there's the boss up, and then there's enterprise. So each level um, is different based on the volume of clients that you have. So it's a B to C to B. So the B to C would be the standard plan, and then the B to B would be the growth, the, um, the growth, the boss up, and the enterprise plan. And the cool thing about it is if you have some of those other software, you can download a CSV file of all your clients from those other software, and then you can re-upload that CSV into Consumer Law Dispute AI, and it gives you your whole dashboard back. Amazing stuff. That's crazy because it's like if, if you guys don't know how messy traditional credit repair is with papers, sending in letters and all Licking that Licking envelopes. Yeah, <laughs> licking envelopes. You wonder why it's like you need a software to make people's mm -hmm. lives easier. That's but in total, how, how, much time, how much time does it take? You can repair your credit in less than 15 minutes. You can 15. have letters send out in less than 15 minutes. So the excuse is off. Oh, I don't have the time. Really? You spend one hour scrolling through TikTok. And you can't use 15 minutes to fix your own credit. I'm not buying it. Yeah. Credit repair is expensive. No, it's not. You can literally start for $1. So what I tell people is this. It's simple. Text the word AI, right? That's it. Text the word AI to 917-993-5238. That's it. Text the word AI to 917-993-5238. What does that do? It gives you a link for $1. Go in and start fixing your credit. If you don't like it, cancel it. I am that confident in the software. Cancel it. So if you tried for one dollar and you don't like it, cancel it. Mm. I'm that confident. It will. Ooh, I forgot another part. So important. The software teaches you credit repair. I was gonna ask that. This I'm gonna say this again. The <laughs> software teaches you credit repair. Mm. Yeah. And yo, the growth over two years has been astronomically. On um, to to seeing you as quote unquote a credit repair specialist to now having one of the top financial literacy podcasts, dude, that's a huge jump. So I'ma definitely give you your flowers. And um for part two, you can pick the topics for part two. Right? So if y'all want a part two, let me see y'all come in part two below so Cody can know if he should do a part two or not, all right? If I should fly to New York to get a part two done. Um, 
<laughs> right? Um, uh, but I'm telling you guys, um, you've been doing an amazing job, bro. And and I'm not just saying it because we're here on the pod, but you've been doing an amazing job. And I know for a fact there's a few people that I know can vouch for that, Sheeta and a lot of other people. And I want you to keep up the good work. Now that your platform has grown, like you are responsible. I don't think you understand the responsibility of what you're doing now. You have a you have a moral obligation, Cody, to bring financial literacy to our community. And you can do it through your voice on this platform. So I commend you for what you're doing. I only see great things for your future, bro. So I need you to still do what you keep doing, still read, still study. Because at the end of the day, when you're doing your solo episodes, I need you spitting that consumer law game. And guess what? People are going to start hitting you up. So just keep doing what you're doing and just know that sometimes you got to go through some stuff to get to your stuff, but you will get to your stuff. So continue the good work, bro. Thank you. Yeah, for yeah, sure, bro. Yeah. And you Cody's too, bro. Yeah, for sure. Cody, Cody definitely is killing it. Um, I just so, need more from him, that's all. Yeah. I require a lot. <laughs> I see. Um, so so definitely, I know you're going to have another credit summit this year. Yes, um, it's going to be in October. In October? Yeah, in, in October. That- uh, which I'm telling you now, Cody, you better bring the podcast. All right. Y'all better bring the podcast to the Credit Summit Fall Edition. All right. Yeah. I need you on the stage, bro. Cool. Yeah. Um, usually we, we like to just give advice out, you know, mm-hmm. especially to the young men. What advice do you have for like young men, you know, today? Young men. Yo, get your money up. Don't have these females out here have y'all like y'all need them and depend on them. Before, like, focus on self-development, focus on the bag. The girls will always come. So don't spend your time chasing no woman. Don't do it. Chase, well, you can't chase money because if you chase money, then it runs away from you. Learn to attract the things that you want in your life. Do not chase anything. Learn to develop a skill that you can use to attract the things that you want in your life. And then everything by default will happen. So before y'all go out there and go look these females, get your money up. Your teeth's messed up, go fix your teeth. Your hairline is all the way back, go fix your hairline. Or go bald, like... It's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah, no, Am I lying? Nah, yeah, you're lying. Nah. All right, so why y'all laughing like I'm over here lying? <laughs> I mean, it's the hard truth, though. It is but... the truth, but who's gonna say it? Yeah. Let's like let's get ourselves right. Like mm-hmm. th- there, there's a saying, you know, pick the gravel out of your eye before you start picking it out of other people's eye. Mm. Like, yo, let me look at me first. Let me fix me. Before I start telling people to fix shit, right? So, yo, dress the way you want to be addressed. Yeah, men, the, yeah, you should, ca- like, when someone meets you, they should be like, yo, this is somebody that I want to be always connected to. Like, someone shouldn't say, yo, I don't want to see that person ever again. You get what I'm saying? So I need, I need the young men, I need the men to step their game up, bro. Excuse me. Step your game up. Learn what it is to become a high-value man. Go join the 5%. And if you can make it into one, to the 1%, we welcome you. Come join us. Don't be with the 95%. The 95%, they ain't doing nothing. They're just programmed by society. Join the 5% and then go to the 1%. The next part to go is the 1% off the 1%. Because it's a whole nother game over there. That was hella gems. That was hella gems. And for the viewers out there, like, how could they, how could they get more information from you? Because you definitely give a lot of games. So how could they reach you? How could they learn more? On Instagram, you can find me at Doreen De Levante. YouTube, Doreen De Levante. Facebook, Doreen De Levante. Everywhere, Doreen De Levante. Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. What else they got, Cody? TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, TikTok, you can find me on there too. TikTok don't really like me that much, but it's all good. That's another story for another time. Um, Remember, for $1, and we'll have it in the description, for $1, you can start repairing your credit today. Consumer Law Dispute that AI, the best credit repair software on the market, 100% consumer law based, where it's five step. I've made credit repair easy 
from the comfort of your own home. So get your robe. You don't have to go to Versace, but get your own robe. Be nice. Get you a glass of wine. Get you a shot of something if you drink. Mm. Go repair your credit. Be great. Fix your teeth. Get your looks on. Look great. Smell great. Go conquer the world and attract the things in life that you want to be attracted to. Yep, and that's it, guys. This was a great episode. If you haven't yet, click the link in the bio. A lot oh, of I gems didn't give were them the dropped. Text number. See, oh, get, oh yeah, get, yeah, drop I the get text so number. Away. Yeah. So AI, and we'll know who gets to the last part of the episode too. So text the word AI, AI to nine one seven nine nine three five two three eight. I'm gonna say it a little bit slower. Text the word AI to nine one seven. 9935238 sign up for a dollar today and i know my accent some of you are like what did he say did he say tree or three i said three all right that's it it's a jamaican thing <laughs> yep so <laughs> so text the number call the text text the number and definitely click the link in the bio and hit cody up and yeah and hit hit, hit cody up yeah. you know hit any one of us up um and yeah, I think this is a dope episode. And here we are on another episode of Motion and Success. If you haven't yet, like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna be in quality guests like the rain on. Um, you guys are you guys are gonna continue to learn a lot of information, a lot of game. And yeah, if you want more information, you know where to reach him.